will go through vector control application setup process and then basic usage. We are opening the vector control application for the first time. All inputs are empty. Now we will enter five inputs. These are mandatory to control the vector through the application. Uh, username, password, vector's unique name, four digits unique name, preceding uh, with prefix vector, and then vector's unique serial number, eight digit serial number, and then the vector's IP address. For this, we will have to check on vector's screen and get vector name, serial and IP address. Let's check our vectors name, serial number and IP address. To do this, first we put it on its dock and then hit the button twice. On the first screen, we see vector name. This is the four digit uh, name of vector. And we go to the second screen by lifting its lift up and down. On this screen, the first line is the serial number, eight digits. And then on the fourth line, there is the IP address, current IP address. Then we return to the original screen, normal use, by lifting up and down. After getting this information from vector, we will enter them. Your username. After entering the password, we will enter Vector's four-digit unique name, starting with capital V. Please don't forget the dash between Vector and the four-digit unique name. After that, we enter eight-digit serial number. and then the IP address used by vector. Be careful here because the IP address may change on your router. So to prevent that, I recommend you use a static IP address assigned on the router. After all these five information is entered we hit the set button and wait for the GYD ah, I have entered incorrect password in this case we get an invalid input then I correct the password and I set it up again uh, one more thing if we use a special character uh, it will also warn us. So please avoid using special characters. After hitting set button, in a few seconds you will see the GUID as seen here. So if you get this, everything is Correct. Now we are ready to control vector. Let's start by say, making him say something. Test five. 
let's make him say something else. And the previous entered strings will be here. So you can choose from here and clear this. Test. Next, we can try controlling vector. We have two different control options. Next, we can try controlling vector. We have two different control options, control one and control two. Hitting connect will bring us to the screen. Here, he can control the head. Lift eye color as you see here. and we can move it these two buttons are for <coughs> returning to duck and taking it taking it from the duck and here we have the photograph uh, shoot button and this button uh, leaves the control to vector but you can still see what he sees pressing it again will bring the control back to us and this one is for turning off the camera display and back on so this is the shoot take photo and what else we can try the other control method Here on the screen, uh, the eye color button, turn right, turn left, forward, backward, head, lift. And what else? Uh, this is the speed uh, parameter for this control type. On the other control, we don't have speed uh, parameter. We are using a simulated analog joystick. So. I guess that's it.